Welcome to London Paddington, ladies and gentlemen. Just going down the escalator here. Good old laggy escalator. <laughs> you hate it when they're laggy. Anyway, we're just going to pop ourselves over here. I don't know if the game's paused or not at the moment. I'm going to hazard a guess and say that it is. So, because the people aren't moving. There we go. So we're going to watch some trains today. This is a, a scenario I've made myself. That, that it is. And the controller's playing up. That's really awkward. Okay. We're going to stop using the controller. Because I forgot that my, my analog stick's broken. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, eh? Yes. You just typed mole moan into YouTube. Yeah, that's never going to get some the results you want. Mole moan. So yes, welcome to London Paddington today. First train of the day, leaving. This is all real real time train stuff. That it is. That it is. Probably show you quickly. There you go. You see, one K forty six, the ten nineteen from Paddington to Bedwin. So there we go. This might not be the best scenario in the world you ever see, but you know, I can try, right? I can try. You gotta start somewhere, that's for sure. Gotta start somewhere indeed. Got a couple of HSTs here, it's quite laggy, but that's fine. I don't care if it's laggy. It's not when I zoom in and only look at two trains. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh, hello. HST approaching here. Look at that. 253001. Sir Kenneth Grange. Very nice. Stop, dude! Oh, that's a bit tight. Oh, well, never mind. It is a JT route, yes. With AI. The second you put down AI, that's when the problems start to occur. Start taking some screenshots. It's all good, it's all good. Yep, Celebrity HST, you got to love it. I believe the next one to move is this one. Yeah, here we go. So we're already it's brilliant. Yeah, well, you know. At the end of the day, you're just replicating the real life station. You can't really go wrong with that. We're going to be going to be going to both then, Supravs, don't you worry. I'm 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 going to be mixing it up. it. So that's the... What train's that? Let's have a quick look. Paddington to Hereford or something. No idea. There she goes. Off on her way. That's quite a pack tonight. Any S stocks? Uh, maybe. Maybe. There's a delay on the line at the moment, though, so it's uh, it's stuck there for the time being, I'm afraid. Bit of a delay. Not much I can do about it. <laughs> oh, got some... Um, we've got some Heathrow action. The reskin by Sue Probes. Which is very nice. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> so there we go. Pulling into the other side there. Very nice. Of course, this would have been one of the other trains. What is it? The the 332 or whatever it is. But, you know, they don't exist in games. So I've, I've gone with that. I thought that was a good option. I thought that was a good option. That is one of yours. Good. Lovely. Right. Yeah. Going to pull up. Stop over there. I can't remember what service that is. Know that it's come from Heathrow. Oh, here we go. Got an empty stock move now up to Reading. I believe it's Reading. Might not be. That's it. GWR. I didn't check it. I did, the only thing I didn't do is the numbers, because I didn't have time. I wanted to do this today. I didn't have time to put the num all the, do all the numbers right. But So no idea, but you know. I try. Off you go. 
Have fun. No sound. There is sound. It's just quiet. The MTUs are quiet ones, aren't they? That's it. Off he goes. Off to El Depo. Which is great. It is quite quiet, isn't it? I do hear a turbo, though. We're going to turn it up a bit. Hang on. Let's see if that doesn't... Let's see if that helps. There you go. So we've got a turbo leaving. Oh, and a uh, Heathrow service. Very nice. Blocking the view! Not fun. That's it. What time is this set? Uh, 10.20. On a Friday... Yeah, fr 10.20 Friday morning. I think a Friday morning. Something like that. Anyway, I want to pop up here again for a minute. Because I want to look at the HST again. We need Valenta. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're a bit too uh, a bit too far in the future for that. There's no there's no prototype today. That's it. All right. I believe the next service leaves from over here. Or it turns up maybe. I think it's this guy over here that gets out of the way next. I can never exactly remember. Just ignore me walking across the buffers there. <laughs> right. I think he moves soon. I, can, I can't remember the timetable. I can have a look, but I'm not going to have a look. Keep it all nice and suspenseful, don't we? That's what we do indeed. Oh, look at that, though. That's nice. And it is nice and quiet over here at the moment. He must have turned his engine off. It's the only explanation. Only explanation indeed. Any GW Royal X stars? Ele Lecky stars? Oh, he's on the move. Where is he? The prototype HST is Valenta. It's the only one left. Right, so I believe we'll just see him pop out. Just in front of that tube stock in a second. Hopefully, maybe. He's definitely moved. There he goes. Jidibar. Off on his way. Lovely. You alright, dude? You having fun there? There's a guy standing over in the bin. That's great. Awesome. Awesome stuff indeed. Can we see the train from over there? There we go. We can see him leave there. Very nice. I hear a train coming in. Sounds like it might be the 800. Which wasn't scheduled to come in. That's strange. I definitely hear its engine though. Oh, hello there. Looks like we've got a bit of more mainline action joining us today. There we go. So we've got 800-004 in mole mainline livery joining us. Which is absolutely great. Awesome stuff indeed. Is he going to stop before the buffers? Only only time will tell. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. That's very tight indeed. There we go. Lovely stuff. How's that for a lineup now, eh? Very nice indeed. This is a free roam scenario. I tend to only make free roam scenarios. So there you go. 800 turned up. Very nice. You can what livery? <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. But just look at that. It's great. It's absolutely great. Much makes you wonder where on earth did the GWR one go? <laughs> Is it in the buffer? Nah, it's. It's having a nice little smooch with it. As other than that, you know. That driver was trained by the boss. Thank you. I take pride in my work. Let's so look down there. Pretend we're a DOO camera. Where are they? Or well, pretend there is one, I suppose. Oh, oh, hello. What we got here? Looks like we've got the 387s joining us. In Platform 3. Obviously given a push into Paddington because his, his pantograph's down, but we'll ignore that. 
We'll ignore that indeed. There we go. Nice. Right next to Sir Kenneth Grange. That's the lineup you want to see in life, isn't it? Dude, stop! <laughs> yeah, you dented that a bit, mate. Let's have a word with him. Oi! Drive my trains properly! Right. <laughs> yes, there we go. There's your lineup. How's that? Anyone want to hazard a guess as to what's coming around the corner next? Might it just be the brand new Mole Mainline HST? Oh, I think it might. Ladies and gentlemen, the HST and Mole Mainline livery hauling disused Class 442s. That it is. That it is. Welcome to the HST, ladies and gentlemen. He's collided with the buffers. Silly person. Anyway, we're going to take control of our train today. And, um, yeah. Welcome to the Mole Mainline HST. Kindly made by Dynaraptor. And then you've got the 442s, which have been recently um, let go of service. As coaches. So we're going to get ourselves set up. We need to sort out the headlights at the rear here because the guy who drove them in and such. You know, you know, you know how it is. Right, we sorted on that front. Oops, hang on. Get back over here. Nice. Right, get back in the other cab. We <laughs> drive my train prop. Yes, I know. He's learnt from the best. Right, we're good to go. Let's bring the HUD up. We're going to drive to Reading. We're going to drive to Reading indeed. All right, come on. There we go. Let's get that off. Should we take another screenshot? Well, a screenshot. So, yes. The big debut. It's here. How awesome is that? Right, let's get going. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more... Uh, a bit less laggy, I should say. As we pull away here. That'd be nice. Here we go. Awesome. Leave the Electro Star behind for today. No doors? Nah. Tube stock's on the move. Let's see if we can't chase it down. <laughs> chase down the tube stock is what we're going to do. Yes, Mole Mainline HST, it is here. Courtesy of Dynaraptor, who's worked very hard to bring this to you today. To us. To us all. It's great. It really is great. And we've got nameplates. We've got nameplates. So we've got uh, Anthony there at the rear. We have Natalie. They make nice pairs. They really do. So, um, yes, we're just going to... Oh, hello. Right, yeah, we're just going to drive to Reading. 40 miles an hour. There we go. Service is approaching. I know there's a service approaching. I made this scenario, duh. So you've got the S7 stock of the, of the Hammersmith and City line. That's a screenshot. This is going to be like 90% screenshots now, but deal with it. <laughs> there you go. Pulling into Royal Oak there. Very nice. So that's the tube action out the way. The brake setting says release. So, of course, with it being the 442 in the rear, it's uh, or in, in, in the middle, I should say, got a nice, uh, nice passenger view. Welcome on board. Got a standard Mole Mainline seating there. Did someone say thumbnail? <laughs> Maybe they did. And if we look down here, you can see a, a nice array of the reskins. Left my phone on the table there. It's all good. It's all good. It's very quiet in there, though. Of course, we could also probably uh, stick our heads out the side. There we go. And just yeah, enjoy the enjoy the uh, enjoy the journey. Right, let's go up to 50 miles an hour. Awesome. 
You're liking it. Very nice. I'm, I I love this so much. When I first... I mean, we sort of came up with the design together. And, uh... Oh, it's, just, it's great. Horn banter. There you go. There, there, there's, your there's your horn banter. So, yes, we're hauling the 442s because, essentially... I'm speeding. The story is, is that these power cars... They will be let go by Grand Central. And when the uh when Gatwick Express let go of these and then first first Southwest, whatever they're gonna be, uh said they're gonna be taking some, we took the rest to make a nice little set for us. So that's that's the story. That's the history, it's all you need to know. And we we, we covered up the, the yellow because it doesn't need to be it's a coach technically now, so there we go. So well, thank thank you for your efforts, Dinoraptor. It's definitely a, it's definitely paying off. I mean, look at this. It's great. It's absolutely great. Right, hundred miles an hour. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves all the way up there. Get to Reading, and hopefully the frame rate will start to improve. <laughs> That'd be nice. I'm in the trees and bushes. Are these compatible in real life? Well, there's no reason why they couldn't be. They've essentially got the same coupling. So, you know, they've got the same coupling and drink. It wouldn't. The modifications wouldn't be impossible, I suppose, because these are Mark 3s, you know, derived from Mark 3s. It wouldn't be impossible to do, I reckon. There we go. Accelerating our way out of London and heading into Reading. Yes. So, did I have you all suitably fooled with the with the train spotting scenario? I hope I did. I thought let's 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 introduce them in another banterous fashion. There we go. If you got if you got the West Coast Mainline North route, that's where the buffers come from for for the HS for the AP packs. You need West Coast Mainline North. The orange, the yellow, it's great. High speed train. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Bob's up the front here. Can't see a thing because of the trees. Never mind. Look at that. So cool. The numbers have been changed as well. Slightly different font on them. Just, you know, add your little touches here and there. It's all good. So good looking. It really is. I'm just, I'm smiling. I'm smiling as much as anyone else. You know, it's just, this is great. Super Elves, let's just say I pick names out of a very selective hat. <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, right. Just people that I know, that's all. Alright. About 100 miles an hour. I believe we should catch up with a, with a networker at some point. Because that train spotting scenario, it's, you know, some of the trains are still doing their, still doing their thing. Unless, of course, we've already gone past one. No idea. And um, I'm still not that, um, prof you know, that 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 good at making scenarios because the mileage is broken down on the hub there. But you know, I try. We get there. I know that much. <laughs> we get there indeed. Ding. Nice. That needs a fly past. Oh yeah, there's another train catching up with a. Yep, catching up with something, that's for sure. Nice. Wonder if the mile signifies another cell be a disaster. Trust me, it doesn't, it's fine. 
look at that. That's 2N28, which we saw leave earlier. Super R3 skin, of course. <laughs> Features heavily. Right. Look at that. That's just great. That's absolutely great. I'm in the trees. I don't want to be in the trees. I want to be with the banter. Be one with the banter. That's what you got to be. Come on, fit the logo in and the train. That's it. Nice. Come on, game. Stay with me here. I know you can do this. I believe in you. I love I, I love the livery so much. This isn't... It, it, it is worth noting. This isn't essentially final. It could be. But um, we're having trouble with the decals on the 442. It's proving troublesome. Much like the game at the moment. So um, there will be decals on, on, on the 442 at some point. But at the moment... You know, the HST is doing its job, saying what it needs to say. Newcastle to Edinburgh. No, thank you. Not right now. Yeah, there are nameplates. There are nameplates. There's um, there's actually six. There's six nameplates. I'm driving. I'm driving two of them, of course. Couldn't drive all of them at once. Well, I could try. <laughs> Probably won't go down very well, though. You're right, lady. You having fun there? Damn right you are. Right. Approaching Hayes and Harlington. Just noticed the 442. Yeah, 442. We're not going to let them go to waste. What's great as well is if you drive us on a third rail route, they power us along even quicker, which is, you know, super acceleration for the HST. It's great. Come on, game. There we go. Western Main Lines. It's, uh, it's, 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 it truly is a wonder to behold. It really is. Split it up into lots of routes. Lots of, lots of little routes and just sell it all as one pack. Perfect. Because it's way too big to run smoothly. Especially when streaming and recording. But that's fine. Through Hayes and Harlington. Nice. Mole main line. Needs its own little, um, yeah, it needs its own. Oh, hello, Red Signal, how are you doing? Yeah, Mole Mainline needs its own little jingle. Mole Mainline, doo doo. I don't know. In quite the musical mood today, if anyone couldn't already tell. <laughs> right. Let's look at that. What area does Mole Mainline serve? Anywhere and everywhere. Apart from Gatwick Airport, it doesn't exist in game. But. Oh no, the game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted to see. I drove this yesterday and it was fine. Oh, Clack! Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of clack. Right. Well, we're at London Victoria. We're at London Victoria indeed. God, that was a lot of that was a lot of clag that just came out of that engine as the scenario kicked in there. Do I have a signal? Yes. Right, so we're just gonna get ourselves set up here. Nice. Right. Headlights. Headlights. That's it. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Doors, yes. Who needs Vulcan Productions when you've got the 442? Am I right? The doors ever actually open? There we go. <laughs> right, look at that. Cool. So we're yeah, we're at London Victoria. If it wasn't already clear, <laughs> I should be in the roof bit. Yeah, well, you know. This is just a quick drive. More mainline. This is the this is the non nameplate version. It's the only qu it's the only quick drive consist I have. Alright. Doors are shutting. Are you gonna shut? 
Um, that door's shut. The, these haven't. Okay, right. So some of the doors have... Can I... Force them to shut? Dinoraptor, we have an issue! <laughs> Not all the doors close! Oh my... <laughs> okay. This has got to be something to do with, with the with the this being coupled up to the front. The nameplates are child object super albs that Dinoraptor done himself. I think I bugged it. Uh, something like that. Should we see what happens when I try to move? Hello, 465. How are you doing? Can I move? I can move. <laughs> It's going to be a bit breezy. <laughs> reopen them. Now, yeah, but do I reopen them? Or do I do do we have a breezy trip to Orpington? Because <laughs> I've never actually driven down the Orpington branch. <laughs> reopen them. Let's see if we can. Let's not let's not go for a breezy trip. Right. There we go. Oh, it's right. So it's just the animation. It's literally just the animation that's, that's borked. Right. Please ignore the open doors. Yep. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be there. <laughs> Blimey. <me. laughs> You're right there. Yeah, good. Just admiring the train. Nice. Alright, come on, doors. I can hear some beeping. Are we going to get some animation? Ah. That is a weird bug. You know what's... You, you know, the only coaches that are doing it are the driving coaches. So that's fun. That's fun indeed. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, oh, God, I'm in a... Why is the scenery just gonna... <laughs> I'm going to go and stand over here now. I'm, being, I'm in a wall. There's no room for me anywhere. Oh, God. I've got an idea of what might fix the doors. But it involves me uh, stopping this for a second. Let's try that again. Let's try that again, indeed. That's it. That. 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 Right. Something you never tested. Yeah. Right, well, let's see if it happens. If the doors stay open this time, then we'll go for a breezy trip to Orpington. Let's see what happens. Let's see if I fix the problem. If so, they need to be dead in transit automatically, if possible. I don't, I don't know if that's possible. Otherwise, we're going to have major problems. <laughs> Got something to forward ready. Doors are closing. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I hope. I hope. I think we've... Yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dead in transit. That's, that's, what, that's what we're talking about. Let's go. Nice long horn there. Echo through Victoria. So we're going to drive to Orpington. Because I've never driven to Orpington before. 465 greeting us here. But yes, this is the Chatham Main Line. Once again, I return to the Chatham Main Line. That's it. Going to Paddock Wood, apparently. Which is the station before Tunbridge, which is where we were earlier. Albeit in the 19... Well, the early 2000s. B route for banter. To your right. Right. 
No, you don't hope that the 465 uses AP sounds because the 465-1 sounds completely different to the to the sound pack. They're supposed to sound like the way they do. They sound like the class 395s. So, um, no, you, you don't want AP's pack to change them in any way because that's that would be unrealistic for the 465 that's included in the chat and mainline. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more of a successful trip. So yeah, you know, <laughs> without crashing. For 40, well, yeah, 14 and a half miles essentially, non-stop. Yeah, Hitachi Motors, that's it, yeah. So the only thing AP could do would be to make an enhancement pack using their, um, using their 395 sounds, because it's essentially the same traction package. So... That's, that's what it is. Alright. There we go. Pulling away. Lovely. 20 miles an hour. Past one of the more rare 465s. Which, um... Didn't receive its stripe. Happened to a few of them. Did indeed. Passenger view again. Yeah, EPF 395 sounds. I just haven't done anything with them yet. They recorded... I think they recorded them like December 2014 or something. And they haven't done anything with them yet. So, um... Yeah, there's that. Yes, yeah, so this is your pass view. Welcome aboard this small mainline service to... Orpington. Calling at Orpington only. There you go. That's what you're talking about right there. Nice Battersea Power Station. So annoyed they built these buildings in front of it, you can't see it from the railway properly anymore. That's it. Now look, you can't see now full of the Battersea anymore. It's sad. It's sad indeed. Alright. That's it. <laughs> the paper plane still looks weird. Well, there's not much you can do. I, I, you know. It'd be better if it wasn't there, but there's not much you can do about that. Oh wait, 12 more mainline. <laughs> yeah, but that that's, that's, that's from Platform 2. We left from, like, Platform 6, so it's fine. Alright. Nice, sharp 1 in 38 downhill here. Approaching. And, of course, this branch here. Eurostars from Waterloo, back in the day. Which would have gone through Tunbridge, which is where we were earlier. <laughs> it's great. Alright. Bit of break. That's a brutal gradient. That's it. Nice. Thanks for watching James Class 37. Alright, let's get ourselves back up to 45. I don't know how this sounds now, because it's completely different to what we were on before. Shouldn't be too bad. Yep, with Class 373s, when they were built, they were fitted with third rail shoes, because the only way they could get to London was um, was via... Well, they would they would come out, the, they'd go via Folkestone, go up through Ashford, along through Staplehurst, Paddockwood... Tunbridge, Seven Oaks, or no, well, yes, Seven Oaks, about, you know, that way, Swanley, Hernhill, this route here, Brixton, Waterloo International. That would have been their route back in the day. Then phase one of of um, the Channel Tunnel Rail Link opened, so they went, oh, we're speeding, they went fast to, um, what's the name of the junction? It's on this line. 
you can see the junction on this line here. It's uh, this junction here. Forkham Junction, that's it. Then they come up the rest of the Chatham Main Line up into London. And then when the final phase opened, they bypassed all third rail completely and the third rail shoes were removed. So there you go. Am I going to get the VP? No, 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 I'm not. You're not going to get me buying that one. What are you doing up there? That line is reserved for London Overground and Mole Main Line only. <laughs> right. Brixton. No, I'm not getting the 185 pack, that 185 pack at all. Not interested in the slightest. Not with not with Master Key Simulations' his new render. Looking fabulous. Alright. That's it. I'm on the fence about this situation. But don't Anyway. <laughs> Get back up to 45. Hern Hill. West Dulwich. Sydenham Hill. Penge East. Kent House. Beckenham Junction. Um, Shortlands. Bromley South. Bickley. Uh... Orpington. Petswood, Orpington, maybe? Tell a joke. Oh, I don't. Why have I got to tell a joke? I don't know any jokes. I may be banter. It doesn't mean I'm funny. <laughs> tell a joke. What, what funny jokes do I know? Social life? Love life? <laughs> uh, see, I laugh. Alright, um... I live the banter life. No, because I, I can't come up with jokes on the spot. I'm I'd be I'd be I'd be nicking one from someone else if I could even think of one. Oh dear. If I think of one on the journey, then maybe. But you know, I'm not very good at. Thinking on the fly, if it's not very clear already. <laughs> Southeastern can go 100 miles an hour on the southeastern main line, which runs through Tunbridge and Paddock Wood and that lot into Ashford and stuff. That 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 that's just essentially a straight line. A dead straight line of track, which is great. Just went through West Dulwich. Nice. It's cool. They did nail the scenery on this route. They really did. Through the bridge. not a situation I was expecting to get myself into. Lol. Let's get ourselves back up to 60 miles an hour, shall we? It's a good plan. Can't see the mole mainline HST when we're in here. Space launch. Oh, I know. That's, that's the only thing I can ever think of when the camera does that. Hello, London. There's another train. Oh my god, Space Launch. Oh, it's a classic. It's a classic. I only wish it had happened on the new computer. That would have been great. Now, this is this is Dovetail Games' chat and mainline. This isn't the Just Trains route. 60 miles an hour. That'll do. Speeding. Speeding hype. 61 miles an hour. You must now die for breaking all the rules.
You haven't done space launch. That's easy. Just speed into a tunnel that's got a very sharp corner in it. You'll 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 fly. You'll fly, don't you worry. You thought it was a video. Well done. Four six five. I love the networkers. They're great. Some quiet in here. Mold main line. Does it still look weird, Super? AWS! Oh, hello. Welcome on board. It's good attention to detail. I love it. Kent House. Another four six. We're getting, getting treated today. That's it. <laughs> it looks weird. Funny you should say that. Seven miles to go until Orpington. It is unbelievably quiet in here. I even got my volume turned up for me and it's still ridiculously quiet in here. <laughs> the tram link overhead. Looks like they finally removed that plane. Took them long enough. Well, you can't always trust Wikipedia, because 465-3, in practice, there isn't. There might have been one day in theory, but there there isn't now. Alright, power back up. That's not enough for it. I like the 375-6 and their old headlights. They're always fun. It's always funny when seeing something like a mass vandalism of Wikipedia. It's always hilarious. I remember it happened on Nerd Cube stream once. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't remember what it was. I think it was the a particular hashtag that trended for a little while. It got spammed on Wikipedia. That was a that was a wonderful stream. That. All right. How down, Shortlands. Yeah, the seats on the... That's the trouble with this. They're high-capacity sets. That's, that's, that's why. That's why. Sweet. Mole main line. High-speed train. No nameplates today, because quick drive's a pain. <laughs> I make myself laugh. I love the dark blue. Dark blue looks fancy. Considering the fact as well the white's been on since the Connex days, it needs replacing. Those trains, they, they needed it. And I'm glad the networkers are getting their own fair share of refurbishment as well. Keep getting on clean ones and it's lovely. <laughs> yeah, I might be a bit musical today. Imagine the dark blue on the 465. There's actually a reskin of that somewhere, I believe. Or at least it's in progress. Alright. Come on, it's only a 1 in 100. I'm in notch 5, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in ya. Well, my main line's a bit weird, so, you know. Deal with it. Four, 
Four three four four two. Four three hauling or four four two. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's Danny's working on it. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if he's released them yet or not. I know, I know, I saw the screenshots. I know he's done the three six five in blue. That's good. I like the three six five in in dark blue. But I don't know if he's released the four six five yet. Certainly an interesting concept. I do wonder if they, what they're going to do with the three seven sixes because although they're Electro stars, they're more metro services, so I don't know what they're going to do with those, but they're still in yellow, I believe. Alright, 30 limit. There we go. No, the four, the four six fives, they're getting. That they're staying in white blue stripe. So, white, light blue doors, dark blue. Striper, they're getting refurbished as that, essentially. Going a bit quick around this corner, but it'll be fine. There was actually a, a concept model of the... Th well, it wasn't a concept, it was an accurate one-to-one -one replica of, a, of the four six of the, of the 395 front at Ebbsfleet before they entered service, and it was in white and yellow. You couldn't see the yellow because the doors were open on one side, but from the outside you could look in and see the yellow doors. It was black. It was black window surrounds, yellow doors, and a white 395, and it was most interesting to see because that was essentially re them replicating the the Connex livery. But they went with a nice bluish sort of thing. No, it's not still there. No, I was so sad. So, I've because I've been in it. I went in it. I went cause I, when they were doing the preview services. I was taken up to Ebbsfleet to go on one of these preview services as a surprise day out, and I, oh, it was one of the best days of my life. We were we were just standing there, and I was just looking at it and gazing over it because it looked it looked amazing, and I was I was let in. So I, I sat in the cab of a of a fake three nine five, but it's not there anymore. I can't remember where it went. I think it went to Stratford for a little while, and then it it just disappeared completely. Probably got dismantled. Which is a shame. I think the guy said. I mean, this was this. Was, we're talking 2009 here, which is scarily far away now. Um, the guy said it cost like a million quid to make. It was just a wooden replica, one to one, and it took. It was like over a million pounds in cost. So I, like, I wanted it. I'll give you a fiver for it. Oh, it's funny. I was I was I was really hoping that someone would um do the the javelin the, the three nine five yeah the javelins in train sim as Hornby did them for for the you know twenty twelve sets like the white and the purple with the gold top and stuff I'd love to see that oh was I then I can't remember you'll pay six oh god okay. you win I'll pay seven you pay eight I'll pay nine ten eleven. Or we could split it. We'll just we'll just chop it down in half and just have half of it each. Hello. No, a white javelin isn't just an eight oh one. They are different in their own rights. You won't see an eight oh one with TVM signalling. There's a start. Or third rail. You're wanting it, but it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't exist. We're talking 2009. <laughs> Blimey. Starting off the bids. It's the first time I've driven the Orpington branch and I'm paying no attention to it whatsoever because I'm just reading the chat, but it's great. I'm glad they included it. It's a bit more mileage. And I believe it's a workshop route. It's extended, extending it to Seven Oaks and Cannon Street. London Cannon Street, which is nice. <laughs> Super Owls want Super Owls wants he gets. That's that's true, I suppose. Can't really argue with that logic. It's flawless. And now approaching Orpington. Let's 
it. Oh, TPWS isn't screwing me over, which is nice. Tends to do so. Alright. I'll open the doors. And, um, yeah. That'll be the mole main line. Stuff out of the way. Nice. Right, doors. Look at that. Please do not leave bags unattended. Train Sim, you said it best. But you didn't say it first. It does make me wonder. I wonder if the 395s will get, get, get a new livery one day. They probably will at some point. They can't stay in the same livery forever. I mean, you know, getting on a bit already. That's it. But look at this. So the doors finished doing their cycle. Lovely. But yes, the Mole Mainline HST. It's a, it's a beaut. It's definitely a beaut. I, uh, I love it. I absolutely love it indeed. So, let's let the pastors finish doing their thing. And, um, yeah. What else more is there to say? It's awesome. Very awesome.